Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense. Hope that you're doing well. So you and I both know, everybody wants a little piece of Aventus. And we're not just talking about the people that wear fragrances, we're talking about those fragrance brands. They want some of that Aventus money. Look where it got Creed. They're flying around in private jets, sailing the seas and super yachts. They don't have to go to all you can eat buffets. They just have a private chef make everything for them. So these other brands, they see that and they, they want a little bit of that action. We've had niche fragrances and clone fragrances that smell similar to Creed Aventus for a long time. Designers are a little bit late to the party. So let's go ahead and crack into it and check out these seven that smell like Aventus, but definitely not the last seven designers that are gonna smell like Aventus. Also, this is not an exhaustive list. This is not the only seven. There are other ones out there too. Let's kick it off with the most popular, most obvious one, Mont Blanc Explorer. Bergamot, Pink Pepper, Ambroxan, and Aki Galawood, some of the notes in the fragrance. The versatility here is through the roof. It basically has blue fragrance versatility, year round, daytime or nighttime, uh, casually to the office on a date. You can wear this stuff anywhere. This one essentially smells like a stripped down, fresher version of Creed's event and the price point on this is fantastic nowadays. Assuming you're shopping at discounters, I say that every time, but you know, I'll say, oh, the price on this is fantastic. And then someone will go, oh, it's $90. Yeah, if you buy it from Macy's, not if you buy it from FragranceNet though. Also like the presentation on this, definitely not hiding the fact that they're inspired by Creed's Aventus here. They really wanna drive that home, make sure you know what they're doing here. Technically, they even stepped it up a notch. With Creed Aventus, this is just a sticker that goes around the bottle. But on Explorer, they gave you kind of a little leather wrap that goes around it. Out of everything I'm gonna talk about here today, this is the most popular, the most well-known, and it makes sense. For the price that you pay for this, I think it's probably the best bet out of everything here for most people. From there, we're hopping over to the newest fragrance out of all these, for me anyway, Baldi Sereni Signature. Now, Signature is a little bit closer to Mont Blanc Explorer than it is Creed's Aventus. So basically you got Aventus and then that split off to Explorer, which then split off to Baldi Sereni Signature. But ultimately you can still trace this back to the original Aventus. This one's really fresh, really pleasant, just like Explore. It's got apple and bergamot in the opening as it dries down. It's got Akigala wood, again, tying it together with Explorer a bit further. Then you have some cypress and leather in there, giving it a bit of woodiness and also that depth and that, that light, light hint of what could be perceived as smokiness. This one's gonna fly under the radar more because in the US, Baldi Sereni is not a very popular fragrance house. Really very few people know about it or wear it. But this scent is surprisingly good. The quality is nice. The presentation is simple, but it looks good and feels good in the hand. And you're getting that versatility, that ease of use, just like you're gonna get from Explore. This one is though, as of this video, a little bit more expensive than Explore. From there, we're moving on to Mercedes-Benz Select. Mercedes-Benz has a surprisingly solid amount of fragrances that are very good. You may not expect it, especially if you're just getting into scents. You know, Mercedes-Benz, I know they make luxury cars and AMG has some really sick performance cars, but fragrances. Yeah, actually, surprisingly, Mercedes-Benz has a really strong fragrance foundation. They've got some really good scents, and this is one of them. Some of their scents are obviously inspired by other fragrances. This one, inspired by Creed's Aventus. Bergamot and Apple, once again, some of the notes in this fragrance, and you're gonna see that a lot. Bergamot in the top. I say this a lot, but it bears repeating. Creed's Aventus. When people say, what does it smell like? If you're trying to explain it to somebody who doesn't know about it at all, usually pineapple is the first thing that comes up. To the point that Parfums Vintage launched their entire brand off of their fragrance, Pineapple Vintage, which is a clone of Aventus. But pineapple itself is an accord. So pineapple does not have a fragrance oil that you can just drop into a fragrance and then boom, it smells like pineapple. It is an accord and bergamot plays a focal point in that pineapple accord. So most often with fragrances that are trying to emulate Creed's Aventus, they won't have pineapple there. They'll just have bergamot or bergamot with something else like here, bergamot and apple. But the way the bergamot comes across will be pretty similar to how it smells in Creed's Aventus. So you will see bergamot used very often in these fragrances is what I'm trying to say and the reason why. 
You've also got black currant in here. You have mint and ambroxan. For me, Select is a, a fresher take on Creed's Aventus. Uh, not like Explorer though. Explorer is more fresh, spicy, and modern woodsy. This one is more fruity sweet. It could maybe use a little bit more punch, a little more pop, a little more longevity to the scent. You know, a little extra projection. That never hurt anybody. You know, a little, a little boost in performance. But the scent itself is very nice. The quality is good and the packaging is nice as well. Bottle, again, feels good and heavy in the hand. The atomizer is very nice on this one as well. It's a great little scent. Nice little alternative to Creed's Aventus that not too many people know about. Then we're going to a Banana Republic. It is Black Walnut Legend. Presentation on this one kind of sucks. The first three fragrances had nice presentations, but this one, really cheap looking. The cap weighs nothing. I mean, this thing has to weigh like two grams or something. And then you just have this very plain bottle with some nondescript text on the front. Not too much going on. Musk, leather, black pepper, and bergamot, some of the notes in this one. The leather in this fragrance comes across stronger than the leather in Mercedes-Benz Select or Baldi Serini Signature. You can pick that up pretty much right away. The opening does impart some freshness here, but not as much as the last three that we talked about either. Of the fragrances that we've talked about so far, this is the most simplistic smelling to me. Still has great versatility to it, but what I would suggest with this one is see if you can find it you know, $25 or so. I, I'd say, you know, up to about 30 is okay. But above that, you're probably paying too much because I've seen this at discounters going for close to $50 US. At that price point, Explorer is better. Mercedes-Benz Select is better. Baldi Serini Signature is better. This one is one of those ones you wanna keep your eye open for at that lower price point. You can see it at TJ Maxx sometimes, Ross's, Marshall's, maybe online for that better price, but don't pay too much. On the whole though, it is solid. I'm just saying, compared to the other ones, if you're paying more for this one, you're, you're probably not gonna be as happy as you would be paying less for one of the others. Then we're hopping on over to Dunhill with Desire Gold. This was one of those fragrances that just came out of nowhere. Makes no sense. They didn't announce it. They didn't even have a note breakdown when this came out. It basically just went boop, available at discounters. That happens sometimes. And when it does, it's always just out of left field where you're left, you know, scratching your head. Like, what are you doing? You spent the money to develop the fragrance. You spent the money to make the bottle and the packaging. You spent the money to produce it. And then what did you do with it? You, 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 you just crapped it out there and it ended up at discounters? That was your plan? Not a great plan for sustained success. Mont Blanc did that recently with Individual Tonic and Star Walker Extreme. So that's what happened with Dunhill Desire Gold. It just kind of popped out there. Comes in the typical Desire style bottle with that little flask. Kind of like it. This one has bergamot, apple, vanilla, black currant, and oak moss as some of the notes in the fragrance. And this one is going to be on that fruitier side of things, that sweeter side of things, especially with that prominent vanilla that comes through here, which is missing in pretty much all the other ones that we're gonna talk about today. Very nice freshness to this fragrance. It's surprisingly solid, even though it got no announcement really that I could find at the time that it came out. And it just kind of you know, popped out there for next to nothing for people to pick up. It's really good. As far as Aventus style fragrances go, if you pick this up for a good price, you're gonna enjoy it. And then this next one, I've just gotta mention, it's Zara Vibrant Leather. And I got this when it first came out, when it was getting hyped up. So this is the older style presentation. Nowadays, it looks like this. And Zara has a really bad habit of taking fragrances, releasing them, discontinuing them, re-releasing them, sometimes with a different name, sometimes with the same name in a different bottle. They, they're all over the place with this stuff. So who knows, you know, tomorrow they could discontinue Vibrant Leather just to re-release it in a new bottle inside a little leather pouch or something like that. It wouldn't surprise me. It does have a very pleasant opening. I think it smells great in the opening, actually. One of the better, super cheap alternatives to Aventus as far as how this smells when you first spray it on. My problem with Vibrant Leather has always been the performance. It's not good. Now I talked about Mercedes-Benz Select a little bit earlier, said the performance on that could be better and it could, but Vibrant Leather out of everything here lasts the shortest amount of time off my skin. Now I know other people have had that issue too where it doesn't perform well for them. And then some people say it does perform really well for them. I can just go based off of my experience and it's not great. But if you're shopping at Zara, whether in store or online, and you wanna throw a little fragrance in there that's not gonna cost all that much money, 
that has a, an Aventus style flair to it, check this out because the quality for the price you pay is actually very high. All right, last but not least, we've got Abercrombie & Fitch Authentic Man. Really nice presentation on this one. I know some of these I've said that about, but you know, when you pay next to nothing for a fragrance and you get a good presentation, it's like a little bonus, a little cherry on top. Again, the glass is very heavy. It has kind of a fabric feel to this sticker on the front, so it, it looks a little higher end than just a plain paper label. You get a magnetic cap, which is very nice. And I like how even though this is Abercrombie and Fitch, they didn't go overboard with like the really cheesy, tacky sort of presentations that they've had in the past. Well, sometimes they have had nice presentations, I'll say, but uh, I'm glad that, you know, you don't have a picture of a guy on here showing you his weighing. This one has ginger, clearwood, suede, grapefruit, and bergamot as some of the notes in the fragrance. So once again, you're seeing that, that leather note, here's suede instead of just a straight up leather, but you're seeing that leather note take some of the place of the birch in the original Aventus. And then in the opening, you're getting that bergamot predominantly here along with grapefruit, giving you that pineapple fresh opening. On a personal level, out of everything we've talked about here today, Authentic probably reminds me of Aventus the least. But if you're very familiar with Aventus, when you smell Authentic, you can still draw that comparison. And even though this is an Abercrombie fragrance, I don't think that it leans overly youthful. It doesn't go crazy heavy with the sweetness. Actually, this is more that fresh woody side of Aventus, you know, kind of like Explorer leans more fresh woody instead of fruity sweet. So this is going to lean more toward the side of Baldi Sereni Signature, Mont Blanc Explorer, things like that. Not so much Mercedes-Benz Select or Dunhill Desire Gold or Vibrant Leather. Really nice fragrance. If you can pick this up for a good price, Authentic is worth owning. It's actually one of my favorite Abercrombie and Fitch fragrances, period. So there we have it. Seven designer fragrances that are actually just Creed Aventus. Kind of. I truly am wondering when the next major release from a big designer house is gonna come out that's gonna have that Aventus similarity because the only really big house I'd say that's done it so far is Mont Blanc. And Mont Blanc is not exactly the size of, you know, Versace, Armani, or <laughs> Dior, obviously. So I'm interested to see if we get an aventus type fragrance from a really big designer house in the future. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. All right, guys, thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.